So I don't have a pool, but I do have a tech problem that I needed to solve in a very generous neighbor named Joe. See, Mimotion, the company best known for their all-terrain robot lawnmowers, just launched a robot that cleans your pool floor, walls, and even the water line, all without a single cord. Now, I first saw the Spinio E1 back at CES 2025, and it immediately stood out. Among all the TVs, drones, and AI gadgets, a cordless pool robot that actually climbs walls? Well, that was different. And now that I've got my hands on one, and Joe's had it running his pool for about a month, it's time to see what it can actually do. Hey there neighbors, I'm Ryan the Tech Guy and welcome back to This Smart House, your destination for the coolest new smart home gear and the best in smart automations. Today we're diving into something a little different, literally. Now Mimotion, the company best known for their robot lawnmowers, has just released their first robotic pool cleaner. It's called the Spinio E1 and it's been running at my neighbor Joe's house for about a month now. In today's video, I'll show you what makes the Spinio E1 stand out over other pool robots. We're gonna cover setup, app control, how well it cleans, runtime, and along the way, we're gonna hear from Joe, who has way more pool robot experience than I do and isn't shy about sharing it. So if you're the kind of person that's already automated your lawn or your vacuuming, this will be your next logical step. Or maybe you're just tired of manually brushing algae off your pool walls every week. Either way, Spinio E1 promises full floor, wall, and waterline cleaning with no cords, tangle, and no hose to set up. Now setup was refreshingly simple, but Joe's perspective is valuable here. He's used several pool robots over the years. Setup was a breeze. I uh, actually went in there, just turned it on, uh, pushed the button, and it kind of automatically saw uh, on, on the app on my phone. And uh, from there, I just you know put it in the water and started it. It's pretty easy. In my opinion, the robot feels solid and weighs about 20 pounds. Joe was particularly impressed with the build quality compared to his previous robot. So it's definitely a little bit, uh, you know, better quality in terms of how it was made, which is always great for things that are just gonna be pulled out and kind of thrown on the pool patio and all of that. So it's pretty impressed with that so far. Now the robot has an IPX8 rating for waterproofing, a double layer battery compartment, and a quick drain system for easy lift out. The wide caterpillar style treads are key to its wall climbing capabilities. That and the roller brush underneath is noticeably larger than other robots. Joe's pool gets a lot of different debris, and he says it handles it all without any issues. No, it didn't have any issues picking up the normal debris, and you know, we're kind of open out here. We don't get a lot of leaves, but we do get a lot of grass, and uh, you know, occasionally we'll get uh, kind of little floaters and, and you know, cottonwood seeds in there. Uh, and once those sink to the bottom, it does a really good job of picking all of that stuff up. We also get a lot of little tiny rocks for whatever reason and little pieces of sand. I don't know how those get in here, but uh, it does a really good job of cleaning that stuff up and it really puts it in, uh, sucks it up and puts it into the filter, so. Now this bot's been designed to work on just about every pool surface. Tile, concrete, vinyl, pebble tech, and fiberglass. It's rated for both in-ground and above-ground pools up to 1,600 square feet with water depths between two and 10 feet. So whether you have a traditional rectangle or a weird kidney shape, you're pretty much covered. Now when it comes to its cleaning power, the suction performance is just as impressive, around 5,800 gallons per hour, depending on what mode you have it selected in. And it's kind of cool to watch it when it runs along the wall. It kind of reminds me of the sand harvesters from Dune. But here's where Joe's experience really shines. He uses his robot differently than most people might expect. For pool owners, you gotta put a lot of uh, you know, granules or you know, baking soda or things like that in there and they kind of all flow to the bottom. And I always try to do that first and then put the robot in there because it kind of stirs all of that stuff up and it doesn't just sit there. Uh, and it helps kind of get that all through there and then it all goes through the filter, so. That's a smart way of using the robot's movement to help distribute chemicals more evenly. Plus, it also doubles as getting some of the small particulate that may even get through the water filter in the back of the Spinio up onto the water surface so it can flow through the pool's filters. Now, Joe tells me the Spinio cleans the floor as well, climbs the walls pretty well, and yes, actually will clean the water line. This is not something that every robot can do successfully. Joe says his pool gets some algae buildup regularly due to the environment, and he says it does a pretty good job scraping all that off the walls. With multiple sensors and smart arc navigation, it covers the pool in a methodical pattern rather than just random zigzags. Though Joe did point out one limitation that's pretty universal. The only downside that I've seen so far is, and this is probably just uh, you know because of the way pools are, right at the corners where the kind of the, the floor meets the wall, you, you, that's not always the best at, at getting, but no robot's gonna be like that, right? You, you, you would have to have some sort of corner brush in this, these, they just don't make those. Now as you move on to the app, the Mimotion app is clean and responsive. 
a significant upgrade according to Joe. He said his previous robot's app was pretty basic. The app is a lot easier to use. I feel like the app actually, it took some time to build the app, um, whereas the old one was a little, uh, a little bit more kludgy to use. You know, it was a uh, completely simplified app. There was basically turn it on and turn it off. There wasn't a lot of features in there. The ability to kind of customize the experience of the actual robot itself and doing the job is by far much better than the, the previous apps uh, and robot that I'd used. And a lot of this comes from the fact that this isn't the first robot that Emotion has made. This is the same app that works with their other line of mowing robots. I still use that almost every day to run my Yuka, which sits in my backyard. Now the Spinios app offers multiple cleaning modes, battery monitoring, status updates, and even over the air firmware updates. There's even a waterline parking mode that Joe didn't even realize was in there. This will cause the robot to come to the surface when it finishes cleaning, making it easier to fish out. You also have the capability of changing the robot's mode by using the single button on the front. You can select from walls, floor, auto, or eco, all from the front of the robot. Now there's one thing to keep in mind when it comes to any app for a waterborne robot. Wireless range is extremely limited underwater. That's just physics. I even had trouble using some of my action cameras. As soon as you dip them below the surface of the water, they lose all connectivity. So keep that in mind. You'll have to bring the robot to the surface to change settings. Now onto another key aspect of most robots, battery life. The Spinio runs for about 240 minutes on a single charge, which easily handles most residential pools. I do charge it every single time. I let it run its full course, uh, and that drains the battery down, and then I just charge it and I do it. You know, we, and we probably run it a couple times a week at this point. Yes. But he said if he was running in eco mode, he could probably get a couple runs out of it. Now getting the robot out of the water is pretty straightforward. If you don't have it set to surface automatically, there's a hook included in the kit that allows you to attach to one of your standard poles for cleaning and fish it out from the bottom of the pool. Once you lift the robot up out of the water, it starts to drain quickly. And after about 10 seconds, you can pull it easily out of the water. That way you don't dump a ton of water on the patio like I ended up doing during testing. Now under some room for improvement, Joe did have some thoughtful suggestions for future updates. Um, I, you know, definitely on the app, uh, I'd like to see a little bit more data on like how long the battery is going to last sure. right now. Th those are just one of the big things. Like I want to know kind of time it. I don't want to have to leave it out here all night. Even though this was probably due to some firmware issues, which I'm sure will be corrected here fairly soon. He's also curious about push notifications when cleaning is complete. So, yeah. I mean, if it, <clears throat> if it could tell me how much battery life at that point it has left, if it rises to the surface, mm -hmm. it tells me that, then I would probably just run it again. Yeah, there you go. Um, there's no, no harm in doing a second cleaning. Uh, on there as well. This makes a lot of sense because if the robot were to surface and reconnect over Bluetooth, it could send you a push notification. Now this is a feature that we've seen on the Motion robot mowers, but they're equipped with Wi-Fi, so I can see why that might be a limitation. So let's take a look at who should buy this. Now Joe said he'd recommend the Spinio E1 for pools of his size and possibly smaller. This would actually work for um, the pool our size, but I think it would be great for even smaller pools because um, you probably get a couple more cleans out of it just based on the, on the battery life. Now this makes a lot of sense for pool owners that want to automate their cleaning routine without dealing with cords, hoses, or consistent supervision. Now of course if you're already into smart home automation or you're tired of manual pool maintenance, this naturally will fit into your ecosystem. Now let's take a look at a few pros and cons. Now on the pros list, the cordless design has an impressive 240 minute runtime, which should clean a typical pool at least one time. And according to Joe, it actually cleans the floors, the walls, and the water line effectively. He and I both agree it has a strong build quality that seems premium and not flimsy. And Joe seemed to like the app. He said it was intuitive and had meaningful customization options for him. He also mentioned it's light enough for easy handling. Even his youngest kid can carry it around. It also works across multiple pool surfaces and shapes. And the embedded navigation seems to methodically clean the pool, even without a mapping feature. Now some disadvantages might be the premium price point might put it out of reach for some folks. And the pool size limitation of 1,600 square feet might not work for everybody. And as Joe mentioned, like other robots, corner cleaning on the rounded edge is difficult, but we find that on most robots. Also, without an external antenna, you've got limited underwater connectivity. There's also no visual cleaning map or advanced scheduling, like you see on some of the lawn robots. And we saw a few bugs with the battery status indicator. So let's discuss one of the most important topics, the price point. The Momotion Spinio E1 retails for $599, which puts it in the mid to upper range for robotic pool cleaners. So to put that into perspective, basic corded robots start around $200 to $300, while some of the premium models from established brands like Dolphin or Polaris can run $800 to $1,500 or even more. 
So at 599, the Spinio E1 sits in an interesting sweet spot. You're paying a bit of a premium over your entry level robots, but with that, you're getting a cordless convenience, wall and water line cleaning, and a sophisticated app experience. And let me tell you, I've worked for companies that design and manufactured water robots for pools, and keeping the batteries from getting wet are very difficult. So it's nice to see they've done a solid job at this. So overall, the question really comes down to, is the convenience worth it to you? If you're tired of dealing with tangled cords, limited reach, or constantly having to move the equipment around, the Spinio E1's cordless design could save you significant time and frustration over the long run. This comes from a company that clearly understands automation. It's not perfect, and no robot is, but it delivers on its core promise of hands-off pool cleaning. And this month-long real-world testing couldn't come at a better time, because this season, when Joe powered on his old robot, he found it was dead. So Joe's last month of real-world testing shows this isn't just a tech demo, but a practical tool that actually makes pool ownership even easier. His biggest compliment? And that's what I want out of a robot is, I don't want to have to think about it, I want to put it in, do its thing, and then I want to go on about my business. So before we wrap up, I want to thank Momotion for their continued support of the channel and for sending over the Spinio E1 for Joe to test. Now, I'm letting him keep that because I have no use for a pool cleaner, so he's really appreciative of that. I really appreciate Momotion's willingness to let me do real world testing. I've got another one coming up over their new Yuka Mini that I'm gonna give to another one of my neighbors and have them try it out for a month. So I really appreciate them giving us time to test the robots out and be willing to take feedback from actual end users. So what do you think? Are you ready to automate your pool cleaning or are you sticking with the manual approach? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you found this helpful, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give the video a thumbs up. That helps others who are searching for information on smart home tech find good solid reviews. And of course, if you're interested in picking up one of these Spinio E1s, make sure to use the links down in the description. That goes to support the channel and helps me keep these reviews coming. Now, if you'd like a full playlist of my previous reviews on Momotion's mowers, I've got it right over here. Or if you wanna see all of my outdoor robot videos, I've got a playlist right over here. Thanks again for joining us today, and I'll see you in the next video.